everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. It is Thursday. If you've been with us already today, thank you. You will have been part of a very busy wake up call uh, where we've given you the heads up as to everything which is coming up today. Busy, busy old day. Uh, we've got what is going to be a frantic cartload coming your way tonight from six. It is a crafty clear out with some amazing deals, which if we get time over the course of this show, we will have a little look at with you. Um, but it is a craft long right now. Before before we get into the craft one, I must just mention uh, something which has happened today. We do have a code for you, uh, which runs right across today, in fact, through until midnight tomorrow, and that code is clear out 10 all right so c l e a r o u t 10 clear out 10 which was supposed to just be for the clearance items on the website and the items which were specific to cartload tonight however yours truly did a bit of digging found out that the code actually i suppose it was a bit of a technical glitch if you like whatever you want to call it but that code now is site wide and we are honoring my announcement from earlier on in the fact that you can use that code right across the site for today and tomorrow um, excluding January and February launches all right so if you have not yet shopped today and you're thinking oh, I'll use that code on cart later you can use it right across the website so fill up your baskets get an extra 10% off your cart you are welcome but we're here for this craft along uh, an award-winning show and if you've never done one of these before slightly different to the shows that we normally do here at um, crafters TV we stream it right back, it's slower paced, it's done in real time. We're going to be concentrating on one particular project. You get the opportunity to craft along with us in real time because uh, Debbie will be doing all of the steps as she goes so you can craft along with her. Um, if you're doing it live with us today, do let us know in the comments because we would love to see your pictures at the end of this particular craft along. If you plan on doing it at a later date, uh, then do let us know as well so you can tag us in all of your pictures of all of your makes. And I'm delighted to say that we do have a guest on this show as well. But uh, Let's find out what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be needing with the lovely Debbie, uh, who is taking this craft along all about the Delightful Daisies collection, Debbie. Ah, oh, isn't it just the best collection? It's Gorge. beautiful, it's sweet, it's spring-like. It's got such beauty about it uh, that I wanted to sort of strip it back and do quite a nice, simple card, uh, but something a little bit different. Uh, now, this one folds flat, and the actual measurements of the card when it's folded is 7 by 5 uh, so a nice size when it's folded flat now obviously I've used my daisies to go around it so if you want to get it in fitted into an envelope when you're making it just make sure you don't put yours above the top like you can see here in fact if I turn it around you'll see that that's a little bit more easy you can see my daisies are coming out so all I would say is if you want to fit that into your regular five by seven envelope just make sure that your embellishments are inside the card uh, and it literally folds right out so it's quite a showstopper I also thought this would be lovely, Ben, this design. Once you've got the gist of how to make it, because it is super simple, um, it would be nice as a photo frame to put up oh, on the yes. sideboard or something like that. I thought yeah. a really nice, a nice giftable idea. A uh, great one for putting maybe little gift cards in one of the sections as well. Lots of, I think there's lots of variants of that. But we're going to be using the Daisy collection and creating with this beautiful uh, collection. Looks like a lovely project. And of course, we're going to take our time with this but uh, let us find out what exactly we need. You've got the recipe list there for us, Debbie. I certainly have. So these are the bits you need to get you started. So in that delightful Daisies collection, we're using the A4 linen cardstock. We're using the Daisy Bloom Stamp and Die, the Dainty Daisy Die, the Blossoming Daisies Die Set, the 12 by 12 paper pad, also a Happy Birthday Mini Die Set, uh, a Watermark Translucent Clear Ink Pad, although I'm actually going to be bringing in the um, Shimmer ink pad into that one it doesn't make no difference and I want to show you why when we come to it some white embossing powder some clear glitter and some glossy highlights now we do have a few additional elements to go in there as well which is our tri blend pens I'm going to be using ice blend blue um, ice uh, citrus blend gold yellow blend dull green blend also some multi-purpose cardstock some tacky glue with fine tip glue applicator uh, the Gemini mini is all you need to create with this but obviously if you've got any machine it's going to work a scoreboard and scoring tool and a guillotine 
marvellous stuff. There we go, everything yeah. that you need. We um, give you a little bit of time to get all those bits and pieces together in case you haven't yet got them. And as we always say, we'll say a few hellos, then we'll say the most important hello in just a second. Um, if you are crafting along with us, do feel free to stick your hand up in the comments. We've got uh, Superstar Susie on the socials today. So if you need a measurement repeating or if you don't, don't quite understanding of what Debbie's just done, do uh, let us know. If we're going too fast, if we're going too slow, uh, comment and uh, we are here for you to make sure that everyone gets the very best out of this craft along. Uh, hi to Gareth who's joined in with us and Deb Sneary who says good morning all from Ohio. Um, I will craft Hello. along later today, says Deb. Uh, Kirsty D is in, Carletta's in from Arkansas. Lynn, the hashtag go live granny is with us uh, from the Isle of Wight. Laurie Barnett is in from Gilbert, Arizona. She says let's craft, let's craft. Um, Korea Parsons, or Carla Parsons, sorry, just put my glasses on. Uh, good morning from Almo Gordo, New Mexico. Hopefully I said that correct. Uh, Dormeyer says, just watching today, my shipment came yesterday from last week's cartload and I'm busy organizing in the craft room and drooling over my new stash. Kirsty D says, I'm gonna try and craft along. I'm having some help at the moment, the furry four-legged kind of help. Uh, the help <laughs> which is sometimes more of a, a hindrance. hindrance. <laughs> but then it's too cute to tell them to go away, isn't it? Uh, Jennifer Dawn Smith says, I'm ready in my Leanne voice. Evelyn's joined us. And hi to lovely Alison Ma from Aberdeenshire, who says, Hi all, I'm looking forward to joining in today. Suzette Susie's with us from Prince Edward Island. Lynn Harvey is in as well. And Lois Skiathis says, Good morning, everyone from Ohio. Looking forward to the craft along. So few of you crafting along with us, but the most important person crafting along with us today in the box seats, in the in the VIP seats, as I like to call it. Um, <laughs> is the lovely Elaine. We're going over to Florida to say good morning. How are you, Elaine? Good. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. Is this your first craft along? Yes, it is. And how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you excited? What, what's the overall emotion today? I, I'm, I'm very excited. Excellent news. And you've obviously ordered this collection and you're ready to go with us. Have you been um, with us a long time at uh, Crafters TV? I've been with you for about two years. Amazing. And have you amassed a load of crafty stash in that time? Oh, yes. You should see my little room. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very tidy. Yes, <laughs> but I have lots of crafters companions. Yeah, and lots of totally Tiffany storage as well, we can see. Yes, yes. Um, what do you make of this collection before we get into it? What kind of uh, drew you to the Delightful Daisies collection? Oh, I love flowers. Flowers are the, my main card making go-tos yeah and do you make for friends and family or do you do you kind of um make to, to to give to other people or for charity or do you sell your what you make so what, what do you do i'm basically doing it for family and friends right now i am trying to do some selling but i've just started oh amazing and have you actually um crafted with the delightful daisies set yet or have you waited to have a first go with the craft along i've waited to uh craft along with debbie Oh, Aww. that's nice, isn't it, Debbie? Oh, I feel very honoured. Um, Elaine is a person, I, 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 true to my heart there, Elaine, because I am a flower girl as well, as you know. Um, so we're going to be making flowers together. Yes. Um, amazing. Listen, um, Elaine, you are in the box seats, all right? Um, I can usually see you on my screen, and I know the guys in the gallery will be monitoring, so if you have any questions or if you need anything repeated, you just give us a wave, and we will, uh, we will stop, and we will uh, tend to your every need. Um, apart from kind of bringing you refreshments, I think we can do most things for you today. <laughs> so. Oh, OK. Well, I think I have my coffee. Oh, Yay! you're ready to go. <laughs> um, Elaine, we're going to have some fun with you today. This is going to be great. So Elaine is ready. I think Susie's ready on the social. We've got Jamie and Johnny in the gallery. You ready? Okay, let's get ready to go. Debbie, where do we need to start? I'm ready! <laughs> uh, right, we're going to start off, first of all, with some white cardstock. So, all I'm using is our all-purpose uh, white cardstock. But if you've got any cardstock that's white and 300 GSM, uh, that's going to be perfect. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to trim this piece of card to 11 inches going across the top. And then coming down, we want to do it to 4 inches. So, I'm going to grab my guillotine. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to come along. So let's take the foot out there, oh, yeah. pop that out. And then we want to trim this down to 11 inches. So just find that slot, pop that on there and trim that down. So that's 11 inches. And then we're going to turn that round and trim that to four inches. Okay. 
so just like so okay like that so that's our first piece of card done then we're going to take this same piece of card that we've got here because we've got this as our waist we're going to start using this up so we want to cut two pieces now and we're going to trim the first one to uh, three by three inch square so I'm going to come along just pop that down to three inches okay trim that down and then we're going to come to three inches again so three inch square just like so and cut another one to three inch square I'll recap all of this as well so yep. don't worry we don't want you to feel like you're being rushed okay so I'll just recap on those two pieces while you're getting cut in we've got 11 inches by four inches one piece and then we've got three by three inch and we need two pieces of those um, and then we're still going with this piece of card because the next thing we want to do we're going to cut this one down to uh, three inches so we've already got that three inch there and then we want two and a half inch so down to two and a half inches and then we've got two and a half inches which is both those pieces so you've got no waste from that piece of a4 oh, brilliant. Use yeah. it all up. at least it That's all up brilliant. so we'll just recap <coughs> and in fact what i am going to do i'm going to bring in my measurements that i've just, i've done it all so you can see it really clearly so let me just pop that to the side a second we'll bring in that back in a second so we've got our one piece here so i'm going to pop this here so that's our A4 cardstock and we've trimmed it to 11 inches by four. Okay. And then we've done our two pieces. So we've got our two pieces here, which is our two pieces at uh, three by three. Okay, so that's our two pieces. And then we've got these two pieces, which we've done. I've done it all like this so we can see it really clearly. And then we've got our two pieces, three inches by two and a half. Okay, so those are our three pieces that we need so far. So I'm going to pop those to the side. So we need another sheet now of our A4 cardstock. All right. So again, just our white cardstock. I thought we'd get all of this cutting out the way. Now we're going to cut a piece uh, to, we're going to go under just under seven. I know that sounds a bit strange, but I'm going to go up to my number seven, so seven inches. And then I'm going to come down at like halfway between that point, okay? And I'll tell you why we're doing that in a second, so I'm going to do that. So, so it's six and three quarters plus a halfway between the seven, okay? Right. I hope that oh, makes what's sense. what's that fraction? <laughs> I don't know what that is in fraction. We were talking about maths, wasn't we, we earlier? So uh, maths is definitely not my thing. And then we're going to cut this to five inches. All right. Now, what I should have just said is just cut it to seven by five, and then I will explain afterwards but if you come down just a little bit before the seven um, it will all make sense I promise so that's one piece that we need for that we now need to have two other pieces so these pieces are going to be four by three and a half so I'm going to go in at four inches just like so and we're going to trim these to three and a half inches so three and a half like so and three and a half like so. So that will give us all our pieces of white card to make our design, okay? So we've got that bigger piece, which I've got there. So let me pop that to the side and then bring these in so you know what you've got. So that's that one piece that we've just done, which is seven by five, mm -hmm. just under. And then we've got our two pieces. I'm gonna get rid of all these pieces because we don't need those ones. Um, and we've got two pieces that are four inch by three and a half, okay? So that is all our mats and layers. So we're gonna bring back in, let's do our scoring. Before we have a break and let everyone catch up, yep. let's just do our scoring now. Okay. So I'm going to bring in all these pieces so you can see what you've got. Let me just pop all these in. So we've got two pieces of that size, two pieces of the three by three. There we go, like so. And then we've got our two pieces there and then our main piece. So this main piece is our card. So the, what we need to do is we need to score on this piece to start with. And all we're going to do is score at one inch and two inches, turn it round and score at one inch and two inches. Okay. okay? So nice and easy. And I, I thought it's easier to explain it and then do it. And that gives you time to, uh, to pop it all yeah. onto your board. So at the one inch mark, 
Remember this piece of card is 11 by 4 and then we're scoring in at 1 inch and 2 inches. Turn it round and then we're going to score in at 1 inch and 2 inches. Okay, so that is your first um, piece of card. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold upwards on that one. So the first line that you've scored, we're going to uh, score that in and just burnish that down. And the other one is going to come out and then you're going to burnish that down. So you've got that zigzag, you see at the fold there. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same the other way. So the first line or the second line you've scored, so the first line in, uh, we're going to fold that towards the front and then we're going to fold out that other one. Gotcha. So almost like you're doing that bridge type of card yeah. where you've got that sort of zigzag on that fold. Now, the reason that we had, let me just put my scoreboard to the side. The reason we did this slightly smaller is because we want that bit to fit snugly in. Now, if I'd done that seven inches, the same as what the side with, because we folded those lines in, that wouldn't have fit very well. Okay, so we wanted to do that extra one. Um, so that fits our back panel. Um, then we've got our next panel so let's pop that to the side we've then got our uh, two pieces here let me just get the right pieces so I know what we're doing just here so that's our two pieces then we've got these ones which are three by three inch and we're going to score the same we're going to score a one inch and two inch line now because they're three inch square it doesn't matter which way round they go so we're going to go in at one inch and we're going to go in at two inches bring the other piece in and then we're going to score at one inch and then at two inches and we're going to do exactly the same with these pieces just backwards and forwards mountain and valley fold burnish those creases down and that creates one panel mm -hmm. And then our next one, doesn't matter which way they go around for now because they are, you know, you just can put them to each end of the card. And then fold the other one down. So you've got these two panels here as well, okay, like so. In fact, if I do it that way around, you can see they're both identical, just like so. Um, and then we're going to pop these on. So we've got our first piece here. The reason these pieces are smaller, these are the pieces that are going to, you're going to turn it round so you've got your uh, piece like a zigzag and that's going to slot into this piece here. So can you see straight away you're creating that fold out piece. Uh, so okay. nice and easy. Yeah. So that's our first piece and then we've got our next one here which we're going to stick on the side. Gotcha. So we're going to go ahead and stick these in so then you haven't got to worry about what bit fits where. Yeah. So let's get this piece done to start with. We are going to cut another piece at the end to back onto this because then that won't show that seam at the back. Now I did it this way because when I originally worked it out I did it where we cut down these parts. So I did it as one full piece instead of having this mat and layer in. Okay. But it's actually quite tricky with your craft knife and your ruler to take those bits out. So actually it was just as easy to do this one piece of card without taking out those notches yeah. and then just adding that piece of card in and then we'll cut another one at the end. So we're just going to start with to place this inside. So what I am going to do, I'm going to um, just turn that round um, and you could do this with a pen or whatever you want. All I want to do is put a little line you're going to cover this up just so I know where I'm going to be uh, oh I don't know why I didn't don't need to do that we're gluing the whole back panel aren't we <laughs> I don't know what I was doing then. <laughs> I wasn't going to interrupt. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, so you know where to glue, but you can just glue the back panel, yeah. so I don't know why I was doing that. Uh, so we're just going to put our glue onto the back. Now I'm using tacky glue because it's nice and strong. So, but if you've got your tape pens at hand, you can, um, you can use your tape pen, whatever you uh, like to uh, adhere with and then we're just going to place that I like to on these sort of projects use a wet glue because yeah. it means that it gives you wiggle room I can make sure that that's slotted right inside I can also make sure then my sides fold right over as yeah. well because that's what's going to keep it flat and it's going to mean that you'll get that wiggle room so just over the sides just rub that down like so then we're going to so you can see I've opened that out 
and then we've got our panel here so your panel here is what's going to slot just behind so we just want to glue this panel okay so you've got your flatter part on here we're going to glue down there Are you all right over there fine what are you doing oh nothing i just <laughs> No, I was just looking at some of the. I was just looking at some of the deals. No, I no. I was just. I was listening. I was like, what's he doing? But I was just looking at some of the deals we've got later, and the um, the catch on the storage box was just annoying me. Oh. So I was just. It was just. I was just shutting the. Sound like you sw swatted not, a fly no, or something. I'm doing nothing interesting over here. Just you guys carry on. <laughs> just carry on. Carry on. It's like, what is he doing? <laughs> this. <laughs> Do you know what it is? You're, you're bored because you're not doing the class. I should have done it. You should have done it. I should have done yes. it. But the thing is, is, I sort of have this like rule with myself, is if we have a guest on, like Elaine, I kind of like just to concentrate on making sure that they're happy. And then yes, I, I, know I think what you if I then got to like listen to Johnny, concentrate on what you're doing, concentrate on what our guest is doing, and then crack along, I think that could end disastrously. <laughs> so, but I wish, that, I wish that I had done it, because I would be following <laughs> along perfectly so far. Yeah, it's mm. nice and simple. So you've got that um, mountain and valley fold all the way on that side. We're going to do the same on this side to so take that flatter edge that's going to be glued behind here so we're going to add our glue to this part on here so again just taking that tacky glue don't squeeze too hard you only want a little bit if it does get a little bit uh, sort of um, too much just give it a wipe um, and make sure it goes up to those edges that also stops uh, any splodges coming out um, it is only water-based glue so it shouldn't uh, affect you but if you do do suffer with sensitive well, that goes completely in there and there we go just give that a rub down and that then creates our beginning of our card so you can see it's come together really nicely uh, and then you've got if I turn that round you'll be able to see that coming out almost like a bit of a theatre sort it of stage like a theater, card isn't it, isn't it? Stage yeah card. yeah which is and then that all folds completely flat so I'm going to let you do all your sticking and um, <laughs> putting this pit together we're going to then do all our mats and layers and do some of those pretty embellishments to uh, decorate um, but yes if you've got any questions or you need any extra measurements um, then just ask Ben and he'll let me know and we can recap on anything yeah fire in I'll say a few more hellos as well because there's loads of you watching um, Linda's joined us uh, hey also to uh, Rene Deshane who's in Minnesota. It's cold there this morning apparently. Um, Eleanor says, hi everyone from Shrub Oak, New York. I'm going to do this later. I like to watch first. That's a good thing that you can watch our shows back so you don't feel under any pressure, you know, that you, you have to, having to try and keep up. Hopefully you don't feel that anyway, but you know, you can do it later. Kendall's with us from Minnesota. Diane's in from uh, Venice in Florida. And Shadai says, hello Miss Giggles, Debbie. Video saved. I have a Debbie folder. Um, oh, I love that. Oh, oh I've got all red. Oh, oh, look at you. That's so lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Really. She's not said what's in it yet. Probably lots of giggles, <laughs> I would imagine. Is that the one you turn to, Shadai, when you're having a bit of a glum day? Just all oh, over the Debbie folder and you get there. <laughs> because I actually make myself laugh. When I hear myself laugh, I think first he's like, oh no, is that really me? And then the next thing, I laugh with me because I, I think it, my laugh's quite funny. Your um, laugh but, is funny. But, but everybody has that... that person or someone they go to I've got this woman on um, Instagram whenever I'm feeling a bit glum I just go on and listen to her and she's like the funniest word it makes me cry with laughter every single time uh, and she's just ranting about the um, joggers uh, it's a, a Liverpool I think she's from Liverpool and um, and she's really ranting about the joggers and all she wants to do is get to work uh, and it's hilarious it's just so funny I hate people <laughs> who go running all the time <laughs> I'd love to show have you not seen it? It may I just put her on and she really cheers me up. If ever <laughs> so I want to giggle today, folder. I will be going to Debbie's Instagram page um, to look at a hilarious photo of that. Yes. If you get chance today, uh, go and have a look at Debbie's Instagram page. She took what she thought was a lovely photo earlier on of and her with me, uh, Johnny, and also George in it. Um, I well you have to see it for yourself. It's the most hilarious, <laughs> hilarious photo. Um, it's just not ended very well for me. Do you know what's 
really funny about that is because I'm not precious about photos at all. I just think, oh, that's fine. Just put it on and it's fine. And this morning I went, oh, I can't post that picture of me because it looked like my jaw was all ski with. So we, I took another one and I didn't even think to look at the guys. And Ben's picture in the background is very funny. So I put a photo on, go and uh, caption it. I put caption this. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'd love to hear what you think Ben is thinking while I was taking that picture. I don't even know what I was doing whilst I was pulling the face that I'm pulling. You're gurning. I, I, I was a, I'm not going to do the face so you can see it for yourself. It's pretty bad. Um, hi to Kim who's joining us from Weeki uh with the mermaids. Uh, Jill's in from North Yorkshire. Rosalind from Maryland. Astrid's in. Uh, she says, I'm a touch late. I was out with the dog. Uh, and Wendy Woodhouse says, hi, Debbie. I'm loving your demos. Hi also to Terry Anderson who says hello uh, from the I-80 in Ohio. I-80. I guess that must be a... I-80. Is that a road? Must be. Must be. Um, <laughs> so, can I just tell you? Can I just, sorry. Oh, late as it is. Good. <laughs> I'm interrupting because my watch keeps buzzing now because people are obviously going on and looking at the photo. <laughs> Do you get Instagram updates on your watch? Yeah, well, everything's on my watch. Oh. So it buzzes when there's a notification. Oh, it okay. Looks buzzing, look, look, Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> Please, that my face is such a big hit. Um, <laughs> melanie has got a Debbie folder. Shadai says, all her craft logs, of course, and I love her giggles. It's contagious. Um, and Laurie Barnett says, ha, 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 ha. I laugh at myself laughing too. Um, right. I was <laughs> After we posted, we'll get on in a minute. After we posted the picture up, or Debbie posted the picture up, I was laughing. Uh, and then I was laughing to myself in the, uh, in the men's. And uh, Johnny was in the toilet next door, and he heard me laughing at myself and thought uh, I'd lost the plot. But anyway, uh, it's it's a funny old place where we work. Let's have a look. So the Delightful Daisies, we don't have the full collection anymore. We do have some items that you can buy individually, like, for example, the 6x6 paper pad. So this is just a, a, like a mini replica, if you like, of what we had <laughs> in 12, all right, a 12x12 12 12 form. It's absolutely, <laughs> Debbie's laughing to herself now. It's, it's Instagram, can you see over the it, top? It's, a, <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. What I love most about this is the colour palette, the beautiful daisies, obviously taking front and centre, but then the reverse that you've got um, of all of your um, A-sides is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to take my watch off in a minute. It's very funny. It's, it's... constantly... Look, it's constantly buzzing. Oh, my goodness look, me. It's just constantly... Look, it's just... Look. <laughs> That's all Instagram, look. It's just... Hey. <laughs> You can thank me for all that popularity today. <laughs> She's never had so, so many hits. Um, so anyway, the pad itself you can pick up for four seventy nine um, or seven ninety six. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want the vellum, that again matches up beautifully with the designs that you've got in your paper pad. And um, just to say also that the. Um, bundle itself, well not the bundle, the items that you can pick up individually, you can create your own mini bundle uh, and if you spend over 50 you will get an extra 10% off. So again, if you want to stock up on the vellums, if you want to stock up on the, uh, the beautiful papers, might be worth multi-ordering those um, and then you can get towards that 50 to save an extra 10%. Those are the vellums for $10.39 or $11.96 and then uh, you have also got the flower forming foam um, which is $7.99 or $10.36. I don't really need to get this out. You've got the three different colours in there. So four sheets of each. Obviously going to work beautifully for you to be able to create your um, delightful daisies. However, love the fact that we have got the white in there. So you can um, ink that up and colour that in if you want um, to create different flowers outside um, of the, uh, the daisies that you're going to make with this collection. Uh, Astrid says, I've seen your pick, Ben, a cross between Brucey and Norman Wisdom. Yeah. Brucey. Uh, uh, Debbie's <laughs> giggles certainly brighten to uh, cheer a dull day, says Lynn. And Alison says, ha, 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 Debbie, your giggle is so infectious. Uh, <laughs> let's see how um, Elaine's going on. Talking about smiley people, I can see Elaine um, in my little preview monitor. And uh, you look like you've been enjoying this so far. You've got a big smile on your face all, all the way through. So are, are you doing OK so far? Been up. Absolutely marvellous stuff. Are you in, I was just meant to ask us, what you're in Florida, right? Whereabouts in Florida are you? I'm just north of Wiki Oh, yes! <laughs> Where the mermaids are. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I managed to get Weeki Watchy into the little song that I did recently. So um, it's one of my one of my favourite places in the US, alongside Mechanicsburg. Even though I've I've never been to either, but I'd imagine it's it's lovely where you live. I bet it's warm today. Is it? Yes, it is. We're supposed to be in the mid 80s. Oh, nice. Oh, you just nice. Don't kill for mid 80s mm. right now. Oh dear. <laughs> well, listen. Um, it's lovely to have you with us. Are, are you all good so far? Yeah. Yes. Excellent news. Well, we shall crack on um, at pace then and move on to the uh, the next part of the uh, the craft along. Um, oh, by the way, uh, just people asking on the socials and um, the code again today is clear out 10. Uh, C L E A R O U T one zero clear out 10. And that is uh, site wide now. Um, apart from January and February launches, get an extra 10% off your cart. OK, what are we up to next, Debbie? Right, let's put our uh, next pieces on. We're going to stick them on and then we're going to do our mats and layers. So you've got your two pieces here. Now, these pieces are your four by three and a half. So your longest end, you'll be able to see because that's going to match your first panel. And we're going to stick that into place. So that becomes that first slide apart. And then you'll know that when you pop this bit on, that's going to go into that middle section like so okay so we're going to stick them into place so again using this panel as a, as a guide uh, we can then pop our tacky glue into there so just all on to that one mm -hmm. that's so funny that my watch keeps buzzing I'm, um, I'm, I'm just actually having a quick look on your uh, Instagram page and now. it just keeps saying new followers so I'm getting lots of new followers from this Ben thank you, you very much yeah I so haven't had any on my page coming up new followers where is your page let's have a look I wouldn't even know how many followers I've got on my page well I'll tell you in a second you'll have more lovely. than me Debbie what's your surname again oh yeah <laughs> McGiggles. <laughs> McGiggles. That's why I can't find you. I should put you. that, shouldn't I, on there? You have 1,826 followers. Wow. Yeah, 1,826. Oh, that's exciting. That I wonder exciting. if I could get up to 2,000. Am I allowed to do a giveaway on, uh, on Instagram? Don't know if I'm allowed to do I that. Don't... Have we ever done it on Instagram? I, don't I could know do if it we myself. have, actually. What, uh, on Instagram? I think he gave some away on um, Insta. Oh, you've got loads of comments through on that picture. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. My watch is still seven, going. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, that was Jamie. Jamie's commented. Have they got funny? Is there anything funny we can They're read out? They're all like Brucey ones. Like Linda says, good game, good game. <laughs> uh, uh, Lynn's put, I think that Ben is mimicking Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> Um, Linny, um, oh, lovely Linny says, good game, good game. Um, Shadaya says, this is hilarious. Ooh, my word. And Sarah Ibbotson says, what a point to make. <laughs> Prizes. And even our Charlotte's have seen it and she's just put, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that for now, but yes. Uh. What we do right, now, Debbie? Right, so now we've put our, um, our smallest, uh, biggest one on. So this one, again, was our four by three and a half. Then our next one is three by two and a half. And this is going to go onto the front panel. So right onto the front. It's quite nice, this card design, because it is really easy, but it looks really effective. Yeah. I think this could be put into so many different collections. Uh, you, it's just lovely. I loved, I really enjoyed finding this and making this card. So let's do our other side now. And then just stick that one on top. You just picked up another five followers in the last minute. <laughs> I'm not even joking you. <laughs> you might get to 2,000 by the end well, of the show. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I can't do, I'm really shocked I was on that amount. Well, I think the last time I looked, I think I was on something like 1,200. Oh, OK. So that's really good. Thank you very it's much for, if anyone's following me. Because you're much loved, you see, Aww. and all of the amazing content that you posted, which I'm just having a look at now. I try. I'm not very good at you social are. media, and I try really hard. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Craft along over. We've done the card. How amazing hey, is that? There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> Very minimalist, isn't it? Do you know what? I love getting down to basics and I love doing what I think is quite a basic design but looks uh, really snazzy. And mm -hmm. this card really does that and I love that. So that's our card done apart from our backing. But what we are going to do now is our mats and layers. So we can pop that to the side to let that dry. Um, and then we're going to bring in. So uh, depending on what colours you're using from your 
your pad or if you're using the delightful daisies you might be using a different one um, but this pad is stunning so I'm going to use uh, I've used blues in mine and I love this page here the blue is like it's that cornflower blue isn't it mm. so so pretty so I'm going to be using that one and then I want to mix it up a bit so I want to use one of the yellow ones this one will be nice so let's just take that one as well now you probably won't need all that page but you can always trim yours down and then what I'm going to do is use my blue out of my linen cardstock. Um, if you have, because I know we haven't got this in stock anymore, and if you're buying uh, today's daisy, delightful daisies, uh, and we've not got some of the paper pads uh, in, in stock, uh, you can use whatever's in your stash to create this card. Yeah. Um, making the base card, I think, is what, for me, what a craft along is all about. It's having that essentials to know that you can create it with whatever you've got in your stash. So if you haven't got the papers honestly don't worry just use whatever you've got in your stash so the first thing we want to do we want to do our mats and layers with the blue so we're going to uh, grab our guillotine where have i put that there it is uh, and we're going to trim this down so this piece because our middle section now can you remember that middle section was just under seven by five so we want to do it six and three quarters by four and three quarters okay. so six and three quarters and I'm going to come in just a little bit like I did with the seven and that will uh, make sure that fills that gap so six and three quarters oh hang on six and three quarters is that right oh just under six and three quarters that's what I said in the beginning I, yes. you know when you question yourself Double then and yourself. I, shouldn't, yeah, I, yeah. I shouldn't have done that uh, and then we're going to do this by five and three uh, sorry four and three quarters four and three quarters okay and then that piece let me bring this card in that will then fit perfectly onto your middle section nice. now if you want to be frugal and you don't want to waste all that um, cut that out you can always gut it out but I'm not going to worry too much I'm just going to do my mats and layers but if you do want to be frugal you can cut those out so that's our first piece then we want to create two pieces of card that are four inches by three sorry three and three quarter inches by three and a quarter okay so we're going to go three and three quarter so three and three quarter and then we're going to trim that down to three and a quarter three and a quarter so again you've got that one at three and three quarters and then we're going to trim that down to three and a quarter I'll recap on all these sizes yeah. afterwards so you've got all those so that's those two. I think that's and the hardest then, thing sometimes, isn't it? Just remembering the numbers, the measurements. Yeah, absolutely. It's why instead of normally I would write it down on a list, which I did, but I've also, I wrote it on these pieces, which I'll show you afterwards, actually. If we could go back down here, sorry, Jamie. Um, I wrote it out. So my card piece, what the size of that is. Then I put what my mat is mm. and then what my pattern pieces are. So I know that that's done like that. So what I'll do is lay these out afterwards. You can take a screenshot or see all those yeah. measurements, write them down or pause it, and then you'll know exactly what you're doing. So those pieces there, we want to do two and three quarters so we're going to come down to two and three quarters and we're going to trim that to two and a quarter so two and a quarter and then our next one is two and a quarter just like so so that now gives us let me bring in my card it gives us that mat for in the middle and mm -hmm. then it gives us our two pieces for each side Perfect. and then the one for the front there if I can get that off on that front piece there yeah. okay so I'll quickly recap on those sizes and then we can get on to the pattern cardstock so it's these pieces here this one you want to do just under six and three uh, yes just under yeah. six and three quarter by four and three quarters this piece here you want to do to uh, three uh, and three quarters by three and a quarter and this one here is two and three quarters by two and a quarter yeah. and that's two pieces of those ones for your mats and layers so that's them ones now I'm going to be bringing in let's do the blue one first because I'm going to do alternate ones we're going to do this one as our back piece then we're going to bring the yellow in to do in the middle oh, nice. just to break it up yeah. a little bit so let's pop that in and then we're going to trim this one is going to go so 
now bear in mind because this is your background one I want this to be so let me bring this piece of card in so it makes more sense I want my flowers I don't want to do it that way because my cards gonna be standing this way okay so if I was to cut it that way my flowers would look probably odd yes so I want my flowers to be sort of standing up here um, and actually I think I'm gonna use this bit here because it just looks like you know what again that is such a great tip and something that I've never really thought of that much is like if you've got a pattern paper if, yeah thinking yeah. about whether you're going portrait or mm -hmm. landscape and choosing the Absolutely. bit which is specific to what yes. you need yeah. yeah definitely so I want to trim I'm going to use this bit here because I think this would look pretty cool so I'm going to come to my smallish measurements which is four and a half so let's do four and a half just there and trim that across and then we're going to come in here and this one is going to be our six and a half so it's going to be just below six and a half okay. just to match in with that extra bit we've took in each time and then this one then will fit beautifully inside Lovely. that piece okay yeah. now don't worry I know this is feeling like it's getting lost that's where we're going to do some heat embossing soon as well Ooh, okay Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. now why we've got this piece out um, we're going to use that to do our smaller pieces so our smaller pieces is two and a half by two okay. um, so it is let's bring that in again we've got uh, this way round so it's your two and a uh, quarter that's going across the top so we want to make sure so I want not that it really matters too much but I want to do it this way first of all so let's take off that long piece which is two and a quarter Maybe just a question here and it's a really good one um, from Chantel just whilst you're using mm -hmm. the guillotine um, it, I, I'll let Debbie answer this, but she says, how do you measure on the guillotine? It looks like you've got like a few millimetres between the scoring sections. Um, it's, it's nice and easy, isn't it? It's all on that purple line, isn't it, the measurements? Yes, so all the measurements are up the top here. Yeah. I know what she's saying because from where you're looking, yes. I can see what you mean. This line here, so the, how I do it is some people do it different. Let me bring in a black piece of card because that you'll notice it a bit more. So if we look here, you've got, if we look at, say, this line coming down. Yeah. So coming down, I think we're going to come in. Jamie's going to come. Jamie on the, the joystick measurements. today. Jamie on the joystick. <laughs> so our measurements are at the top here on our guillotine. So if I was cutting it four inches, the line beneath the four inches here, yeah. some people butt it up to the end of the next block. I butt mine up to the beginning. So there's that gap. So yeah. I think she can see that gap, which that's is looking I... like the millimetres. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I do. I always do it to, to almost just under. You're doing it on the line, but not over the line. Yeah. Some people do a little bit more and go over that line. So it's just personal preference. But if you do it up just like you do, then you can see the line all the way down so you don't get a wonky cut. Exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah which is how you do. So you can see that. So I would always go up to the, the end of the block. That's mm. how I look at it, doing it to the end of the block. So that's how I work out my Excellent. measurements. Thank you, Chantel. Well, so you, we're Debbie. going to cut this one to um, two inches by two uh, and a half, yes. Okay. So two inches again. And then you, you can work it down right the way down and you know that you've got precision. And then we're going to go into this one. And then this way is going to be uh, two and a half. So two and a half. And then that is going to fit perfectly in that one there. And then we need another one of those. I'm going to do one a little less patterned. Let's do this one and two and a half, like so. And then that's going to go onto this block here. Right, so we've got our mats blues. and layers for the blues. The yellow now. Now the yellow. So the yellow one, which was our biggest piece, which was uh, originally our mat for that was three and three quarters by three and a quarter. So we're going to now do three and a half by three. So again, our three and a half, let's bring that one in. So we can see that here is the long way. So because we've got this wood grain on here, just check whereabouts you're cutting it to. So let's do this one down here. So we want to come this piece across. Let me turn that round. And then we're going to do the biggest piece, which is three and a half. So three and a half inches right across those ones. And then we're going to trim that down to three inches. Okay. So that's our three inch for one, and then our three inch for the next one. Okay, so let's pop that to the side. 
pop all these scraps. So don't get rid of these. You won't need these again, but these are all things you can put in your bit box yeah. or use all those bits up. Or these pieces just pop back in your pad and then you can use them for another time. So once we've done all that, let's bring these pieces in. And then what I'll do is I'll recap just all of those pieces that you need. So this is going to go over there. We should have two pieces of blue. What have I done with my other blue piece? I've mislaid it. I know I cut two, Ben, didn't I? I bet I've thrown it away. Yeah, yeah you did. It's in oh. the bin. It's all oh. right. It's, oh. only, it's in the bin. It's just in the bin. So we're going to pop that on there. That one on there. Okay. So let me do this like this. That's for those two pieces. Then you've got those two pieces. And remember, that's your, your card at the top. So where I wrote card, um, that's for your white card. So let's have these there. We've got those pieces. That's for those. Very organised, Debbie. I try and try try to be. That's the white piece there. So that's the. Uh, if you take a screenshot of, shot of that, Perfect. you'll know exactly uh, what your mats and layers are, how you've got to do them. So your card at the top tells you what it is. Card here and the card there, and then you've got your mat, which is your blue cardstock, and then your pattern cardstock, and that just tells you those increments that we've come down.
Hello, and welcome back to part two of today's Craft Along. Oh, you thought it was a, oh no, we'd always planned to have the break. We'd always have to, we've always, we, the break was, we plan, sorry. <laughs> it's not wearing, it's not wearing, Ben. <laughs> You've got to top up the meter, says Sylv, Ben. Sorry. I put a pound in yesterday, so I thought that would be enough to cover us through the rest of the day, but obviously I've stuck in a few, uh, a few more coins this time, so we should be all right. A few, uh, few dollars in there this time, shoved a few notes in, so we should be good to go. Uh, Lily says, Debbie's Instagram broke the internet. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. It was all their new followers, see? <laughs> Why, thank you, by the way. <laughs> I don't mind uh, breaking it for that reason, Ben. Well, that's it. Debbie's picked... I, mean, she's got, she, I think she told me a minute ago she'd gone from uh, 1,800 followers to 8,000 <laughs> followers. Um, <laughs> isn't that right? <laughs> So many people wanted you. I don't say 835 <laughs> instead of 800, and it's come out 8,000. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you, though, everyone, for your patience. We're back. Um, good place to freeze, says Anna Marie. I, got, I took a screenshot of the dimensions. Well, we did it on purpose, obviously. Uh, and Chantel <laughs> says, no, no, another blackout in the studio. Don't worry, Ben and Debbie. You're worth waiting for. There oh. is never a dull moment. Let us just also check. We're back up in here in the studio. Lights are on. Lights, camera, action. Have we still got our link to Florida? Florida, Wiki Watchy, are you there? Come in, come in, Florida. Florida is here. <laughs> yes. All good. We wanted to take a bit of a break anyway, um, Elaine. To be honest with you, um, but you look like you you look like you're enjoying the experience. Hopefully, your lights didn't go out. No, no. no. Excellent <laughs> stuff. Um, we're going to carry on. We'll, uh, we'll come back and have a good chat with you again, Elaine, in just a few moments' time. But as soon as we've had like a bit of a, an unnatural pause there, we're going to get right back into it. Um, <laughs> Lily just says, gave me time to make a cuppa and took the dog out for a pee. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's, why, it's why we did it. You, see, you can all have a cuppa, take the dog out for a pee. Um, <laughs> You guys just make me laugh so much. <laughs> in such a funny mood today for so many different reasons. Um, let's get back to Debbie. Um, Heather says, glad you're back. Mats and layers stuck on, so we're good to go. Ah, oh, fabulous. Um, I didn't want your mat and layers stuck on, oh, though. Oh, yes. I did say Remember that you saying, beforehand. Remember don't stick them on. It's fine if you have, so don't worry. I just thought we'd do something to make it look a little bit more interesting, and mm. it really does make it look a bit more interesting. Okay. So we're going to do a bit of heat embossing. Now, uh, in my demo, I just used our translucent ink pad, uh, so you can just use that on the end. But actually, I want to see what it looks like with a bit of shimmer on the side as well. But I am going to still put the white heat embossing so it's going to cover it up but all you need to do the good thing with doing it with this one you can see what I'm doing so if you've got a translucent one just use that that's absolutely fine but by using a darker one I can show you what I'm doing and all I'm doing is flicking around my sides getting however much I want on there now you don't have to put loads on um, sorry if that's a bit loud flicking the paper um, but it's just a case of layering um, that ink around your edges mm -hmm. now this is a really really nice way of just creating a different edge but by having that heat embossing uh, you can put as much or as little as you want I would say start off with small you don't want too much on there because we're actually going to be covering this I mean how nice is this blue if you've not gone for our shimmer ink pads I mean that is beautiful in itself that, yeah. that edge is that like that but we're not going to leave it like that we're going to actually um, uh, use our embossing powder sorry we're not going to use normal embossing powder we're going to use white embossing powder okay. if you did want to use your colored embossing powders you absolutely can I wanted to give this a more sort of frosted look so all I'm going to do is tap down onto my sides there like so and then I'm going to come round with that and just dip it all around the oh, edge that's a good idea. because you don't need to be putting loads on I mean even that's probably a bit too much and then just bring that in and then our last one we're just going to scoop that round all down and then that's going to give us this sort of frosted edge around the uh, around the side. Yeah. So what I am going to do is move this out the way to start with because I'm going to carry on using that for our other pieces. I'm just moving it out of the way for um, uh, while we heat emboss each piece. Okay. So let's just bring another piece in so you can see. I'm going to bring our heat tool and we're just going to emboss around those edges. 
So all we're going to do is melt it. Because we're using white, it's going to cover up that blue. That's why I was saying just use your translucent one um, because then you're not wasting any ink pad because you can't see that blue. No. Uh, you might have a little bit peering through, but actually that's not my intention. I wanted to do it just to show you where I was putting it. So, so it that's made the same sense. with any of the colours that you would have used, right? Sorry? That's the same with any of the colours yes. that you would have used. any colours. If you're going to put a white embossing yeah. over the top, it's going to cover it white. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. they would be just using our uh, new amazing uh, heat gun tool, which is available on the website with the two-speed dual setting. I think we've still got that um, amazing foam as well in stock that came with that um, the heat tool. So, absolutely worth going for. In fact, it was on the show the other day. Uh, producer Johnny's just told me. So what, sorry, I missed that. I was concentrating on something else. What, um... I was just saying that you're using our new heat tool and how good oh, it is yes. with the dual speed. Oh, we've got the foam back. The foam is oh, on the website. Oh, yes. nice. So look at that. We've got now got almost a piece of artwork where it's drawing your eye into that and just giving a nice decorative edge. So we're going to do the same on these and I'm going to show you these so separately and then you'll be able to see the difference. So let's just do this one to start with. And we're going to do the same on all these pattern pieces. So just take your ink. If you want to put a bit more on those corners, you can just depends how much you want of that white to show through so just bringing it around like so and you can see how much that's bought that there but I'm loving that blue actually Very looks nice. so nice doesn't mm. it and it would look really nice actually that blue let me take this that is the first time you've used them did you say Yes, uh, so I did use them when we had them out birthday week, ah. but only what was in the studio. I didn't really have any demos or anything. I do like that blue. Um, yeah, I didn't have any demos and I didn't um, use them on any shows as such. So, uh, yeah, so I've not really used them properly. But they are very nice. So, yes, yeah, so if you want to just leave whatever colour you've put round your edges, um, then just use a um, clear embossing powder like we mm. normally would do. But, um, but by doing it this way, it then shows you where I've put it. So um, it's easy to follow then. So all we're going to do is take that again. We're going to just apply that inside. Chantal has just said, great idea, Debbie. I never thought of heat embossing the edges. Um, and it is nice, isn't it? I think, you know, um, it's all these little added extra touches that you might not necessarily already think of. Like you said, the mats and layers on their own will look amazing. Yeah. But just adding this added extra little bit of bling, if you like, just takes it to that next level, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. It does. And it just adds that interest. It gets us doing what we want to do, which is mm. crafting. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to learn sometimes just some extra um, things that we wouldn't normally do. Yeah. Uh, not everybody heat, heat embosses. Uh, what I love about heat embossing is it really doesn't matter how um, often you see it, it still has that wow factor. Yeah. It still looks beautiful. It's still a great technique. Um, if I could do it on every single make, I absolutely would because I love it. I love our pigment ink pads. I love now that we've got the shimmer ones, so that's going to be really nice. Just heat embossing. Just mind your fingers because it gets quite hot. Yeah. Uh, what I would say is if you um, are a little bit sensitive to the heat, just use your pokey tool or um, your scoring tool just to hold it down while you're doing that. Now, the reason I've just done those two because I want to bring in my other pieces to show you the difference. So let's do it that way and that way. So look, that's our plain one. Look how different that now looks. Mm. And then this is our plain one. Beautifully and look how it. different, yeah. And just by taking your time and adding that bit extra round your edges, yeah. it really does elevate it to a whole new level. And I love this technique. Um, and also you just get those really nice shiny edges. This is a great technique as well to do with, around your photos in your picture frame. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and especially winter ones, because it'll give you that nice winter white edge, wouldn't it? So mm. um, would look beautiful. And Alison just said the blue would be nice too, um, without the heat embossing. So you've got the yes. choice there as well, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I think it would look absolutely stunning. Um, I just switched to the blue because the inks were uh, are on the day. Yeah. Um, and I just and also then I thought, but actually you can see where I'm putting it as well. There's nothing worse than having something that's clear and you can't even see what I'm doing with it. Mm. 
So I thought, well, actually, we'd still get the same technique with the blue, um, but you can actually see what I'm doing. So Shadai even though says you I'm brought the paper to life, that's what she said. It does. It is absolutely that. I love how it frames it. You've literally, I mean, that's like creating a masterpiece now, isn't yeah, it? it? You've is. actually made that piece of paper into a photo. So uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, just a nice way to do that. So let's bring our last bit of heat embossing in. So again, just take that through those edges. Because it's a sticky ink, it's going to stick to that beautifully. And let's do our last one here. And just pop that all the way around. And it doesn't even matter if you get a little bit on the actual design itself, mm. because this is just making it look very rustic-like. Yeah. So let's just pop away our embossing powder also now. Also goes to finish. show that you don't need a lot of that powder, do you? You've done the whole lot with that sort of one application and one still piece. loads to spare. Absolutely, yeah. Emboss embossing powder goes such a mm. long way. Yeah, such a long way. Right, let's do these final two. And then we're going to start making some flowers. Yes. Um, Jan says, I've ordered that heat gun last week, so I'm looking forward to doing some heat embossing. Um, do not forget that if you haven't yet shot with us today, maybe you're thinking about picking up the shimmer ink pads, maybe you're thinking about getting some of the Delightful Daisies collection that we've got left in stock. Use that code um, today because um, off, well, site-wide, apart from uh, January and February launches, you will get the ability to get an extra 10% off. So shimmer ink pads uh, will qualify. All of the items that we've got in our cartload show a little bit later on. Um, things like the um, Academy of Colour, which are coming up later, the Mini. I mean, so many different things you can get that extra 10% off of. And the code is clear out 10, uh, C-L-E-A-R. O U T one zero. So definitely worth using, particularly on the cartload um, tonight. Uh, get that extra ten percent off. Right now we can start putting our mats and layers on. Okay. So let's start framing all of these. I'm going to bring my tacky glue back into play, and then we're going to stick all of these on. We've got a little bit of a blockage. Oh, going do you need me to bring oh, my crafty oh. briefcase over again? No, it's okay. It just come out then. <laughs> Doctor Craft, Johnny's Dr. just Craft. called me. Doctor Craft. Oh, I love that. We need to do a show for you, Ben, called Doctor Craft. That would be so funny. Yeah, what's in Doctor Craft's bag for this week? <laughs> How funny would that be? But for those of you who've been with us for uh, years, you will know when we, uh, when I first got here, when we were over in the other studio, we used to have, we used to have the Crafty Clinic, didn't we? Oh, the yes, crafty we clinic did. with the coat and the stethoscope. That. Does anyone remember that in I the do. comments? I've forgotten all about you broke that. Proper white. Oh, the first, but the first two weeks was I was here. All I did was get dressed up. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> uh, if I wasn't dressed as a doctor, I was dressed as a builder. Um, <laughs> with the hard hats. So it's just like every single day. It's like, oh, put the doctor's coat on again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Crafty Clinic. Yes, yeah. I've forgotten all about that. Um, I wonder what other shows we've done that I can't remember the names of that we've done. Well, it wasn't the show, was it, the Crafty Clinic? It was just like a little seg it was a little segment, wasn't it? Um, yeah, but in a show, wasn't in it? In a show, yeah. 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 Uh, Dr. Craft says, Susie, I want Craig to be your assistant. Can you imagine that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> pokey tool, <laughs> die brush tool. <laughs> you can just imagine, can't you? Oh dear. Um, Chantel wants to know, is Elaine taking the embossing edge challenge? Yes, I think she is. Um, I've seen her, yes, she's nodding. I can see her on my screen there. She is taking the challenge and we'll see very shortly, Chantel. Oh, she's just showing to the screen now how, be how beautiful hers has turned up. We'll show you in a minute. We'll go back to her, but yes, she is. She, she, do you know what? I'm very impressed because very relaxed, very smiley and um, right up to speed with us as well. So and that's the way it should be. Um, Shouldn't it be? Yes, and I've just noticed um, sunglasses on her head as well. Ready she, to. Our Elaine is very cool, isn't she? In Absolutely. fact, I was thinking what a beautiful smile our Elaine has. Yeah, she does. She absolutely does. And uh, yeah, after this, of course, I would imagine probably going to enjoy the 29 degrees that we worked out they've got there in Florida. We, was it 80, 85? I think we've got about, well, we've got, this is about seven degrees here. <laughs> with snow on the way apparently beast from the east is coming to visit us again we haven't got snow on the way have we yeah we have next are you being serious next not today but the next couple of weeks <laughs> not today deb you'll get home don't yeah worry. you'll get home all right today <laughs> but that big bad beast is on the way 
And yeah. so I thought they called the Beast of the East the wind. Oh, I think it's just the general weather that... Because the wind... Oh, OK. You know, when it's windy, the wind brings the weather, doesn't it? From the east. Oh, yeah, I thought it was just bad winds. <laughs> 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 are terrible because yeah. I would be fine just because I meant the weather and you all laugh because I've said wind. <laughs> you said bad wind. <laughs> That's what that you said bad wind and you knew what you were doing when no, you said I that. I promise I did not. You and Debbie Robinson, you are know what you're doing when you say stuff like that and then you do that. Oh, so, I didn't mean to that say that. That's so not true. I really did not. Yeah, it's all innocent. I meant bad Don't wind. Don't believe the innocent exterior. <laughs> I know your game. Giggles. It wasn't your bad wind you talked about with your um, <laughs> with your <laughs> with your Chinese. <laughs> it was a curry anyway. <laughs> it was a curry. Valentine's curry. <laughs> <sighs> Not very Valentine's for Mrs M, that's for sure. No, she chose it. <laughs> that's the thing. Did she suffer as well? I didn't ask. <laughs> it's a new day, probably. <laughs> Now we're getting loads of wind emojis coming in. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Terry Anderson. <laughs> Elaine's gone. Debbie's gone. Terry's throwing in wind emojis. This is supposed to be an award-winning show. I mean, what on earth is going on here? Seriously, if the people who hand out the awards are watching today, we ain't going to win it again next year, are well, we Well, as long as all my flowers don't blow off the page, <laughs> we're OK. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a strong gust. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got trumpet right. emojis coming through. Susie. We got there. We got there. <laughs> Is that true? Trumpet Does emojis. Send me, you send me trumpet That's emojis hilarious. through. Yes. That's very funny. That's very, very dear, funny. Dear, oh dear. Right, so let's pop these on. So we're going to pop this into the inside of our card. There we go, like so. So let's stick these on. So now we can stick all our mats and layers in and do our card. And then we're going to oh, do dear. some flowers. We're going to do some colouring, some glittering of our flowers. Yeah. I do like a bit of glitter. Now, if you are someone that doesn't really like the mess of glitter, I would suggest getting your sparkle pens. Uh, get your clear sparkle and you can, um, you can use that instead. So it's always alternatives, isn't there, to what you like. These mm. papers are so beautiful, aren't they? They are. It's a, it's a beautiful... I know I've said it about said it yesterday with the Roaring Twenties, but this is a stunner of a collection, isn't it? I think, as Sarah was sort of describing yesterday, the Roaring Twenties might be a bit too... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that wind. It might be... <laughs> for, oh! Uh, might be a bit too... <laughs> the, the Roaring Twenties might be a bit too... <laughs> the, <laughs> the Roaring Twenties... Uh, might be a bit too niche for some, but the flowers here, I think, oh, are for boys. everybody. Uh, Terry Mack, I've only just joined and I'm laughing already. Thank you, guys. Uh, Mary Reno says, hurricane force winds expected in the studio today. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Reno. <laughs> And we've got to stop laughing because Lynn, the go-live granny, has said, says, you're making me giggle and it's making me cough. She says, I'm recovering from oh, pneumonia. Oh, right, stop. that's not nice. Stop it. Stop well, now. Well, I like the word recovering, Lynn, so oh, that's, the, that's, the most, that's the best thing about that. Yeah, absolutely. And just to finish it all off, Sylve says, anyone who lives with a smelly boy knows all about bad winds. <laughs> oh. There's some wind. That was, a, that was a sneeze, I think, out there from our Julia. Dear, oh dear. That was a big sneeze. Oh, That's dear. worse than Al. I always say to Al, can't you sneeze quietly? I've never known anyone that sneezes as loud as what he does. <laughs> he actually frightens me. It makes me jump. Oh, is he a ah, yeah, no. it's very late, and he can't help it, but I don't know if I believe that. Just enjoying <laughs> the sneeze. I love a good sneeze. I like, I like silent sneezes. You, they say you shouldn't do that, don't they? You shouldn't hold it in. But oh. I like that. It like gives you a tickle in your nose. <laughs> what do you mean, like a? No, that you hold it so it goes, stays inside. Oh, they shouldn't do that. No, yeah, do that. Don't, don't let it mm. out. I used to uh, work with a lady who did the sneeze and didn't make a noise, but they would then would make the sneeze after she make the noise of the sneeze after she'd sneezed. Do you know oh. what I mean? Like, so she'd mm. go, she'd go, 
<laughs> she goes, <laughs> they don't really love. <laughs> so if I sneeze, I'd go, <laughs> like that. But she would go, <laughs> choo. <laughs> <laughs> and make the noise afterwards. It's really weird. Very that is strange. very weird. <laughs> Choo. Choo. Yeah. Some people, I, I do like people that have these little, um, like what I call pretty sneezes. Like, mm. you know, just got a little sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a pretty sneeze. No? No, I might I kind of want to get a feather now <laughs> and tickle your nose to see what yours sounds like. Oh, dear. Has she got a pretty girl sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> Right, there we go. We've got all our mats and layers on and we've got our beautiful card uh, coming together, which is amazing. So I'm going to let you get uh, caught up with all your sticking and then we're going to start making some flowers uh, with our blossoming daisies. Excellent news. Lynn says, don't stop. It's such fun, such fun. <laughs> uh, and Gareth Dobbs says, I'm shocked. I'm still alive with what I put up with, says Karen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that there. Uh, let's, let's go back over to Florida and uh, see how the winds are there today. Is it, is it windy in Florida or, or, or still? It's a calm breeze. A calm breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you thought about that, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Are you managing to get any crafting done with all these silliness that you're happening? Are you up to speed? Yes. Oh, look oh, at this, Debbie. Lovely. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so pleased. Are you enjoying it, Elaine? Yes, because we lost connection, I did do the mat and layers, so I actually embossed the blue card. Oh, instead nice. of the pattern oh, yeah. card. Still nice, yeah, still magic. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Thank you for crafting along. And I, oh, and you're just, welcome. Just, just watching you craft as well. I mean, obviously, this is your first craft along. Have you been, have you been making cards for quite a while then? Because you, you, you're very up to speed with it all and you, you seem very relaxed. Uh, yes, I've been, doing, um, I've been doing crafting since I was eight. Mm. So, 20 years. Um, yeah, you are, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 15. 10, 15. Yeah. yeah, card making about five years. Okay, and, and have you got other uh, members of your family who are, are crafty as well? Yes, my daughter is very crafty. Does she do paper my craft husband, with you? My husband, not so much. Does she do paper craft with you? Uh, yes. Okay. And who, do you, who did you say not so much? My husband. Oh. Not into... He has his own craft. Oh, OK. <laughs> What's his craft? What does he do? Rebuilds hot rods. Oh, Ooh. really? That's yes. amazing. Is that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a hobby or is that, is that a job? No, that's his hobby. Wow. Wow. I feel like we need to see some pictures of this now at some point, whether you could send this, because this sounds amazing. I just hear the word hot rod, mm -hmm. that, and that sounds incredible. So what does he buy them as, like, scrap and then, like, do them up? Yes. Yes. Wow. Incredible. I have a 1934 Ford coupe. I'll send a picture. Well, that's not a calm wind, is it? That is not <laughs> a calm wind. Please send a picture to you. I'd love to see that. That's amazing. And isn't it nice that we've all got our own sort of, like, little sort of niches of craft because I think who was it who said earlier on um, we were talking about cooking you know if you're into cooking you're crafting if you're doing your paper craft you're crafting like your husband like rebuilding hot rods that is amazing we, we are um, super impressed what a crafty family um, over Thank there you. in Florida right let us get cracking and then carry on um, we've got about another ooh, half an hour or so to get going um, I kind of feel we're good for time Debbie aren't we yeah we're, we're good, good so yes yep mm. Yeah, we're doing well. So uh, I'm now taking three pieces of my cardstock, but if you haven't got the linen cardstock that come with the delightful daisies, uh, I'm just taking some yellow, some green and some white cardstock, OK? Now I'm just going to trim my yellow and green and we're just going to trim this down to three inches. So just down to three inches. And the only reason being is so I can fit these through my mini. So uh, your rest of your uh, pieces can be um, saved for another time. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and the same with your white one. So we're going to do this a couple of times because we're going to need a few different flowers. So I'm just going to trim all of this one down to three inches because this is the one we're going to use. Now you could, because you've only got one set of dies, um, or unless you're lucky enough you've got two sets of those uh, dies, we do need to cut them multiple times, which is why I'm just cutting these strips from my actual petals, the flower petals. So let's pop that there. 
going to bring in my mini. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to grab the blossoming daisies. So apologies, this one is not in stock anymore, which is a shame. Um, um, you've just literally read the, my mind of the question, which just came up. Oh. So Alison says, I haven't got the blossoming daisies, Di. Uh, what can I use as I didn't get that? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we, we have. have I think we've it. got it back in stock. Uh, let me have oh. a look. Oh. Uh, uh, blossoming daisies, yeah. Oh, I do apologise. We have got them. I didn't mm. use them this morning because that's what I thought we were out of stock of. Do I do apologise? I'm so pleased because, right, can I just say to anyone that hasn't got that pack mm. to buy them, and Craig will back me up as well, it's our most used flower dye at the moment. Uh, we keep putting them on everything because it is absolutely amazing. So if there was anything you wanted to buy today, please buy that dye set because it's the most beautiful daisies in three different sizes plus the most amazing leaf that you mm. get on there so yeah definitely go for those they are so nice. I'm so pleased about that I didn't think they were in stock um, but if you don't have this dye any flower dye is gonna to work mm -hmm. uh, it is just about decorating with beautiful flowers um, oh, right so one quick question before we move on from Michelle yes, says I ended up buying textile glue instead of the clear collal can I still use that on paper Oh, I, I honestly don't know that, that uh, the answer to that. Okay. Textile glue um, is for material, isn't it? Mm. Um, I, I want to say yes, because it's a glue. What I think it might do is take longer to dry. Okay. Um, and it might also seep through your paper more. I don't what, know. Like, um... Yeah, because it's... I, I honestly don't know that question. So all I could, I could say is to give it a go. Um, and see if it works. But our Becky's going to be in, uh, is it this Friday? I think Becky's going to be. Yes, it tomorrow, is. This yeah. Friday. Tomorrow. Um, yes. In fact, it's because Becky's coming in that I can go home actually tonight. Oh. Um, well, only because there's nothing for me to do tomorrow morning. So it would have been me, Craig, and Becky. Yeah. Um, but it's actually Craig and Becky. And then Tiffany's on tomorrow. She is. Yes. So, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I would ask Becky that question. Okay. She might know. She might not because she might just say, well, actually, I've only used it for textiles. Oh, exactly. Uh, what I'll try and do in the break, I'll look it up. Uh, ben, you might be able to do that while I'm crafting. See what the what the, the substance is, is inside yeah. it, because it might be able to tell you. If I know if it's a solvent glue or whether it's a, uh, a water-based glue, I don't know, so okay. I'm not really up on that. But we'll try and find out for mm. you. Right, now what I'm doing here is I'm getting all three of my daisy dies, placing them. They all fit lovely, which is why I've used my um, uh, Gemini mini uh, they all fit lovely on that platform and cut those out beautifully so we're going to cut a few of these out so, I am, oh, sorry, sorry carry so on there. it says on our um, website so the textile glue uh, white water based textile glue uh, can glue paper card cork wood and fabric. oh as soon as you said water glue then I'd, I yeah. was going to say yes definitely paper you're good to go yeah. Michelle then absolutely that's handy to know isn't it yeah I'm surprised we don't sell more of that then as a um, uh, as, a, as a glue for all, it's like more of an all-purpose, yeah. isn't it, when it does so many? I wonder whether it, or not it's just maybe sort of more for the confusion. Do you know what I mean? If we have like the two, which yes. you can kind of go for, which yeah, works for absolutely. everything. Yeah, absolutely. It's always best to stick to what it's for, stick but I suppose if you've run out. <laughs> 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 I didn't even intend that one. No. <laughs> um, right, so we've mm. got those ones. Now, I only want one of the bigger ones because the daisy die is quite a big die. So we always put two together. So you've got your layering up of your daisies there. So we pop those to the side. We're going to need then two of your small ones and two of the medium sized ones. So we're just going to cut our medium and our small ones again. So I'm hoping to turn this round. Don't want the big one. Let's okay. pop that out of the way. Put the, the medium size and the small one on there. Mini's on a deal later on uh, Cartload, if you want to check that out. £20 platinum. Um, lots of interest about uh, Elaine's uh, partners rebuilding a hot rods. Lily mm. says, that sounds like a messy craft, rebuilding hot rods. Wow. Um, and Jan Shea says, oh, she's nodding. She's messy. Yeah, you need a, a, a big garage I would I guess for that uh, and Jan Chase says I've been having a, a, a rubbish day at work uh, and Ben and Debbie are cheering me up with all the giggles well that's good mm. news that we're cheering you up wow, keep smiling so everybody nice. it's nearly the weekend nearly the weekend oh yes 
so, so nice. Right, just that one. Right, so we need one more of each of the small and the medium. I mean, you can put as many flowers as you want on here. It doesn't have to be the amount that I'm doing. You might mm. want to put a cluster on um, and have some different ones. But it's quite nice just to follow along. Right, so let's pop those out. And then we pop those to the side so I don't lose any of those. Right, so for now, let's get on and do these because then they can be drying when we then come to cut out our leaves. So pop that to the side and the leaf one. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want the little stamens as well, but we're, again, we'll do that in a second. So right. what we are going to do with this, we're going to bring in um, some of our colouring medium. So the first thing I want to do is to bring in my um, ice blue. And with the ice blue, let me grab a piece of card and I'm going to grab a piece of black card because then you can see them which is nice to be able to yeah. see exactly onto there like so and all we're going to do we're actually going to just colour around um, the whole design so what I mean by that is on here we're just going to follow that edge round that's all I want to do okay so really easy, we're just colouring. So instead of colouring the design, I'm actually just colouring around that edge. Why, why is that, just to make so it pop? Th yeah, so this just creates almost a silhouette. Do you know sometimes when we do a, um, uh, what's the word? We do like a, um, like a what classes as a shadow, like we colour an image and then we put a light grey around uh, that almost image. Almost like a drop shadow. Something. Yes, so it just creates that shadow yeah. and that's all I want to do with these. It just lifts it, so you're looking at one to the other, you might not be able to see that on camera, but it just yeah. elevates it um, so it doesn't get lost in the background. Good tip for white, isn't it? Because like you say, white can almost blend into each other absolutely they? yeah absolutely mm. and if you're looking at an object like something that's outdoors the ice blue is ideal for that because it's you would think it would have blue skies around it so it gives you it brings in that summer feel about it because you're putting that shadow in but also giving the illusion that it's out in the sunlight so we're just going to do that on all of them and then we're going to then glitter on top of that. So because we're glittering as well, you want that glitter to show a little bit more. So it's really nice to be able to uh, add your glitter uh, and see the blue through it. So I'm just using a clear glitter. If you've got any coloured glitters, obviously that doesn't really matter. I would say if you've got a coloured glitter, um, you don't need to really put any um, uh, alcohol, you don't need to draw around them. Okay. Hi to Lindy says, what a pretty die set. Rene says, my brother also has built a 34 Ford Coupe. Wow. Um, also two other hot rods. Wow, Aww. this is incredible. Really want to see pictures. It was like the time we had the farmhouse collection, which featured that amazing, um, I think it was like a Chevy truck, which we just don't have that kind of like vehicle here in the UK. And then you guys are sending pictures of your che uh, Chevys and it was just amazing. It's just some brilliant automobiles. Um, hi to Gareth, um, what, becoming one of our regulars now, Gareth. It's lovely to see you when you're with us. And you say, I'm crafting along, but not. I'm playing with my template library. Oh, what you're nice. making, Gareth? Which one of the templates are you uh, playing with? Let's no. And also a uh, big hello to Julie who's joined us from Western Australia. I love this place. We've taken hi to people in Australia. We've got, we've got Elaine some in more Florida. newbies from um, yeah. Australia just lately because we've got obviously our regular Sarah Brown. Yeah. But I'm seeing lots of other names now from Australia. Rachel's with us nice. a lot now, isn't she? From Brighton Beach. I think that's where she is in Australia. So Amazing. yes, we are truly international. We had a message the other day from a lady who was uh, watching from Kenya. Yes, I've seen one from yeah. Kenya, yes. So, ah, it's amazing. I love it. Our crafty family it sort of extends right across the globe, doesn't it? Uh, if you are watching today, by the way, and you've never said hello, feel free to do so. Uh, we'd love to know where, you, uh, where you're watching from, um, what you love doing. And like I say, if you've never like, just said hello, just leave us a little hello in the comments today and let us know where you're crafting from. It's always, always good to know. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, people craft all over the place, don't they? I mean, not just from where they live. I know people that take their crafts on holiday. Yeah. You know, travel. Mm -hmm. One of my favourite things I used to do was I used to take my colour in when I used to travel, especially to Germany. Yeah. I used to always be colouring on the plane. Yeah. I used to love it's that. It's easy, isn't it? Because you can take a book. Mm -hmm. and a few pens you don't have to take a lot with you do you no not you at know. all not at all we used to do um the colorista pads years oh, ago yeah. so used to love doing those 
Uh, right, I'm just using my tacky glue with my precision bottle. Uh, so literally that comes out of the nib. Now, if you want to, I haven't got one. At ha oh, actually, I've just spied one, so we could use that as well. So I'll show you one with this and then another. The reason I like this one is because you get more um, sort of... Uh, uh, a higher, I'm trying to think of it, get more depth of glue right. on your make. So all I'm going to do is literally just follow those lines round with my tacky glue. It doesn't even matter if you get a few blobs come out mm -hmm. um, because actually that's just going to enhance it. You'll just get more sort of glitter on there. So it is a case of just turning it round and gluing on all those sides like so so we're just going to do all these but what you can use is our quickie glue pens oh yeah we've got so, those on the show as well ah uh, they are on the show right i'm just going to do this one and then i'll switch so then you can see how to do it which is just as good um you get that really nice fine glitter around the edges so if you don't want too much glitter then there you uh, go yep use your um Use your pens. It's just a three-pack ballpoint bullet and chisel nib, seven ninety-nine, uh, ten dollars thirty-six. That's your platinum price. Very handy to have those in your crafty stash. Absolutely. So let's switch to that. I'm going to just pop my lid on. I've just spotted some in our little pot. So I'm going to bring in, hopefully, the um, yeah, the thicker one. So with the thicker one, then all you need to do is hold it onto those edges and go round. So it couldn't be simpler. Perfect. Just making sure, yep, that's coming out, no problem. Because I've done it blue, I can't see the blue. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good point, well made. I didn't have one at home, so it's a shame it doesn't stay blue, and then it would just be that blue, wouldn't it? Because, in fact, it's exactly the same colour. So let's do that one again. And it is much quicker, actually, to use your quickie glue pen if mm. you've got one. If you haven't, definitely grab them. You'll yeah, find you'll use them, yet yeah, for everything, whether it's just edging round a topper, whether it's doing it like this, whether it's uh, doing your um, uh, anything, really, spot foiling. So just a really nice way. Do you have to, like, prime those then, or does it just free flow? Just free flows. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're very good. Try to think which one. Oh, that's a sticky one. <laughs> Damn those ones. Uh, you only have to uh, prime them when you first get them. Yeah. You would just push them down like this until I it see. starts to free flow again. So if it does start, so it's getting a bit dry, just give it a little pump. <laughs> like you, like your trainers. Oh, I remember those trainers. Yeah. Nike's. Wasn't yeah. it? They used to pump Nike up the cares. tongue. Nike's. Um, I don't. I think it just pumped up the. You just pumped the, t the, the tongue up, didn't you? Wasn't, I, think it was the I don't think he did. Well, I have, have to have a look. Yeah, I can't remember. John now. Cena always used to wear those. The wrestler, didn't he? That was one of his things when he first started out. When he was John Cena? Cena, the wrestler. Oh, I was yeah. thinking, I know. <laughs> Not John Cena. Well, John I know a John Cena. And I'm thinking, how do you know my friend John Cena? <laughs> funnily, funnily enough, his dad is called John Cena Senior. Um, oh. Yeah, John Cena Senior. But he used to, when he was the doctor of thugonomics, that was his finishing move. He used to pump up his trainers and then he'd, um, whatever his finishing move was, he'd do that afterwards. But it was Nike Air. I always wanted a pair of them. Never <laughs> got a pair. Uh, yeah. I was like that with pixie boots. What I remember boots? they were, must have been about with what? nine pixie boots. Oh, pixie boots, yeah. Yeah, little, uh, little boots. Um, but I did get a pair. I had oh, you a, did eventually? Yeah, I had a burgundy pair. Oh, I loved them. They were like the best things since sliced bread. Two things I never got with the, um, I got the screwball, I always wanted screwball scramble. Do you remember that? Screwball, oh, I got that. Screwball scramble. Oh, did and you not get one? Never got that. And then um, I always wanted a Mr. Softy. Not, not Mr. Softy. Do I mean Mr. Mr. Softy? Frosty? Mr. Frosty. Rather. I always wanted a Mr. Frosty. My mum always said it was a waste of money. Well, here's, get here's the thing. My mum always said that, said it was a waste of money, and then I never got one. And eventually, oh, it was probably, I don't know, five or six years ago, Daisy wanted one for Christmas. She got one, and we got it. I had to agree with my mum. It was, it was a lot of hard work yep. for not very much. You just go to the shop and buy your own ice cream. I wonder what the slushy machines are like now because they had slushy machines out this what, year. What, ones that you could take home? Yeah, make your own slushies. Mm. I love slushies. Do you? Oh, so much. 
I don't like the brain freeze and no. I do drink them quite fast because I just love them. <laughs> and then I get really bad brain freeze and I don't like that. The thing is, if they're not mixed right as well, you can end up with like a really sort of potent mouthful of syrup first up and then you end up just so a load nice. of ice. I like end. sweet things. Mm. I like sweet drinks. I like going to the jumping place where you go to do the trampoline in and they do the they do the refiller, but like you can have as much as you want. So they give you have to buy the cup. When you go trampolining, did you say? Yeah. Did I not tell you? I went trampolining the other week. No, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> did I? On your own? I had or? My grand, no, I had the grandkids. Ah, oh, right. I just not on my own, Johnny. Yeah. I have friends. <laughs> So funny. What should I do today? I think I shall go trampolining. <laughs> how was um, how, how was the oh day? Was it good? Goodness. Did it have its ups and downs? Oh. <laughs> very good, Ben. Very good. Um, yeah. Do you know when? So we we normally go because the girls love it. I love going to the places, and it, I love literally. I absolutely love it, and I love taking my little Ava. She's only three. Well, she's going to be four in May, but she's one of these kids that you look at, and if she's having the best time, her face shows it. Mm. She looks like the happiest person in the so world, lovely. and I just love it. Um, I'm just applying some clear glitter here. So, and uh, anyway, Ben, I, you know, when you're watching people and you think, well, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, really, really simple. Um, I thought when my granddaughter was like bouncing on her bum, basically. Oh, they do that, don't yeah, they? Bounce like, up, seat, yeah, bounce up, bounce to the, what's it called, Jamie? Seat drop. A seat drop, there you go, mm. I didn't even know what that was called. And I thought, I could do that. <laughs> you put your back out. Oh my God, I went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> 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 I, honestly, <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get back up. I just thought Spot you would drop. bounce and just come straight back up. And I went down with the biggest thud, winded myself. <laughs> <laughs> I must have got back up. Like, <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? And then, to, to make it even worse, they do these where you jump off a tower onto a trampoline onto this big pillow thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know it flips you in the air oh, yeah. because I jumped on it, turned on my back, literally fell on my back <laughs> and winded myself so badly. And I'm like, why, why do I do that? I'm like 53. <laughs> Oh dear, I didn't do that, John. I didn't go in the ball pit. No, so. the foam pits. But you can do like somersaults into them, can't you? Oh, I mean, my youngest daughter's boyfriend, I mean, honestly, he was doing like, they do these, they do the runways and he was doing flips backwards oh, and, yeah. all along the back. Yeah, he was amazing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's sickening. <laughs> Oh, to be that fit, hey? The thing that I always used to find with, like, trampolines when I used to go on with the kids is, like, I'd be bouncing at my sort of rate, but then if then they used to come on and then start bouncing at their rate, <laughs> it then messes you up and then all problems can happen then, can't they? And there's, like, the kids are there, you're there, and then, oh, just, I just tend to stay off them now, really. Oh, um, I love them, but I just wish I could do what everyone else can do. And I need to stop thinking that I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did, I remember a few years ago, I, I thought, I used to be able to do handstands. And then literally, I nearly break my neck. <laughs> my favourite is, I shall still do it now. It's usually like on the in the summer, on a Saturday night when it's nice outside, and maybe we're having a you know glass of wine or whatever. And my Daisy still loves doing cart um, cartwheels, and Laura will attempt to do it. And honestly, it is the funniest I know, thing. That was me as well. My, yeah. My my wife of a certain age um, still thinking that she can do. The cartwheels. No, you take a picture. Take a picture. It. And it's like, nah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not great. I just don't. I just sit there and watch. I don't even attempt. I've done some know. silly things in my time. Um, just a quick question uh, from Barbara Sattley. You said, "Oh, they want advice on jumping." <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> what is the best way to do a seat drop to make it not look like a spud drop? No. Barbara says, "Will faux snow work with glue pens?" Well, folks, no, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. What it won't do, you won't get a thick amount. Uh, so what I would say is uh, do like a double line of it. Mm. So if you put in faux snow, but it will absolutely stick it. Yes. Okay. It's really strong and it's really good because uh, it dries clear. So once you put the pens on, 
it comes out blue so yeah. you can see where you've put it and then it dries completely clear which is amazing good um, so yeah really good so there we go we've got our sparkly flowers how we're we doing for time we're doing good for time so we're going to pop these together now I am going to use uh, my tacky glue because of the foam so you want to make sure so I'm going to do them all to start with so on each one put a little globule of our tacky glue okay that will help with the glitter that's formed in there and then we'll leave those other ones to place on top Pop Heidi just said there. if anyone could pull off wearing pixie boots it would be Debbie oh I loved my pixie boots so much they were amazing <laughs> Gareth's doing a trifold stepper with his template library. Oh, nice. Uh, and hi to Cal Cope Steak on YouTube. It says, hi from Shropshire. I'm a newish crafter and I enjoy card making. I love watching you all. You make me smile. Well, that's a lovely message, Cal. Thank you. Oh, that's a very nice message, Cal. Um, we and hi to Chantel. You says, I'm on, in. She says, uh, I'm on holiday at the moment in Bunbury, Western Australia. We're staying beside the beach where the local dolphins swim in each morning to say hi. And in the evenings, we've been walking along the beach and we can see the baby oh. stingrays in knee deep water. It has oh. been amazing. Oh, my life. How that amazing is gorgeous, that? gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, to be in Western Australia, walking along the beach. It's not somewhere I've ever fancied going Australia. Isn't what? that funny? I really? know, and I don't know why. Maybe that's because of the distance, yeah. Mm. It's never really been on my agenda. My wife went there on her travels day. just before she met me. And uh, No, this isn't a gag. No, it's not a gag. Uh, no, and she just said it's like one of the most amazing places yeah, she's ever been is. to. And she's always said, mm. like, once the kids have um, left home, she's going to take me to Oz. Mm, she'd love to go. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Johnny's just cracking oh, really bad them in the uh, gallery. jokes in my ear. <laughs> right, we've got our flowers. We're going to cut some of our um, little uh, leaves here. So let's pop that onto here. Close that up. So I'm going to cut that and then bring it back just so I can then cut another one quickly. Alison's crafting with us. She says, I don't have glitter, so I'm just using my glitter pen. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Glitter pens. Um, you can use your sparkle pens. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, or if you really wanted to, you could just use some glitter cardstock, cut them out with oh, glitter yeah. cardstock. Uh, one of Sarah's signatures did a white uh, glitter did. cardstock. Can't remember what one of it, it was. Maybe a Christmas one. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's a great one to use. So I'm just going to cut another one here. Actually, I'm going to put that down a bit. I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to just cut another one. It might not even fit on properly, but I'm going to cut four out. I yes. can't believe we're nearly done. I know. We've flown over this show. It has. Mind you, we have been talking lots. We've been a bit naughty talking, but well, hopefully... No, well, no filling the time where it's needed to be filled, you know, where you've been, you know... Colouring or glittering? Yeah, absolutely. It's all been it's relevant. Quite, actually, in that's case what the bosses are watching. <laughs> it is what a craft along's about, though, isn't it? It's mm. that fun of crafting along, and um, well, we'll ask Elaine afterwards. Hopefully, she's uh, been fine and enjoyed it. Right then, so we've got our leaves. Let's pop that to the side. Then we're going to bring in our yellow and bring in those stamens. So you've got uh, three different sizes for three different. Um, sizes of your flowers so we're going to pop those into place um, and remember we've got only one big one but we've got two of the others so we're going to cut all three and then we're going to cut the other two Linny just says Be beasties Debbie I won't go to Australia because of the beasties oh then yes you can jump in. yeah see that might not be they are some big ones aren't they apparently spiders I think big isn't it spiders. But actually now this is going to be sound really strange I think the bigger the spider the less scary they are do you really because they're <laughs> <laughs> no I always feel like they're more than like an animal rather than a tiny little spider that you don't know where it goes oh yeah but if you see some of those like big what are they called like the like wolf spiders or something like that the size of like a, like the huntsman spiders if if you gave me the choice of whether I had one of those running at me or a little money spider <laughs> I know which one I choose <laughs> I know which one I choose every <laughs> single time. <laughs> I don't mind them if they're just like, sat there sort of static. It's when they start scuttling. That's what I don't like. 
Right, we're going to cut some white ones now. So even though we're using green, I want to now cut some white ones of our leaves. So let's pop that to the side and we're going to cut some of those. Is Craig scared of spiders then? Yeah, there was a big one in his room. I used I to be scared of spiders till I caught one in my hand once before. And then I... What do you mean you caught one? It was, running across the the, the, it was running across the, um, uh, the worktop in the kitchen. And my, na my, and my reaction, ah. I just went like that and then realised it was in my hand. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. And then I thought, actually, I wasn't really... <laughs> uh, I wasn't really, like, scared of it. And I thought, ah. it's, it's a tiny spider. Why was I scared? And ever since then, I've never been really that scared of... Flowers. I didn't open my hand till I went outside, Johnny. You didn't see, jump in my face. See, I'm <laughs> I'm funny in that I, you know, like the flying spiders. What do you call them? The daddy long legs. Yes. I'm quite happy to catch those with my hand and let them out, but I wouldn't pick up a spider bare handed. I just I just wouldn't. Do I try it. to just get a glass because I yeah. actually worry about harming them. Mm. So I try I do try and get a glass and put it over the top and then a piece of card underneath. I'd you never know, I'm a crafter, I've always got a bit of card at hand. <laughs> oh, that you did, didn't you, Jimmy? Jimmy the spider, yeah, yeah. I killed him. Then killed Jimmy. He ran towards me whilst I was having my tea and I panicked. <laughs> he really did not. He did. <laughs> It was, he, he came at me in a vicious manner. Do you know, we've never had a spider in the house. Well, I've never seen a spider in the house since. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad about it. <laughs> I remember telling you about it and then you were like, oh, I've got something to tell you, Debbie. <laughs> I think you were going on saying, like, oh, I've not seen Jimmy for ages. Like, Who's Jimmy? <laughs> oh, that lovely, lovely spider who lives in the shares of the house with us. Ah, <laughs> there'd be a reason why you haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> Oops. I know. Well, when you're in the house on your own, it's quite lonely, so it's quite nice to have a little spider to talk to. <laughs> to, talk to? What are you like? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> if I could talk to the animals, <laughs> I'd just imagine it. It's Debbie, look. Dr. Doolittle over there. <laughs> 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 uh, right, what we are going to do, so we've got our little um, uh, stamens, or the little buds for the inside, so we're mm -hmm. going to glue those on. So let's find my little glue bottle. Oh, we are starting to run out of time, look, so let's get these <laughs> done. Lisa, the main thing is, this is just about decorating, so um, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. The only thing I don't think we're going to have time to do is cut out the tall... Um, uh, Daisy, but it's fine. I've really enjoyed this uh, couple of hours. It's been really nice. It has been really fun. Having a really good old chit-chat. Yeah. I love that we've had Elaine on crafting with us. Me too. Talked about all sorts today, haven't we, as well? We have talked about all sorts today. Spiders, trampolines, hot rods, um, wind. Yeah, loads. Uh, what else have we chatted about? Air fryers earlier. Air fryers today. <laughs> we definitely need to get some of those in stock, because I reckon if we did, we'd sell a few here. Oh, Maybe air fryers that could, I don't know, do some die cutting for you <laughs> whilst you uh, whilst you waiting for your food to be cooked. Here, here, Ben, why don't you do a bit of social media on air fryers and then they might give you one. Like, they might think you're an influencer with all your followers. Uh, are you... So, the other day when we went running with Sarah, um, Sarah tagged us in a little post. We did the part... Me and Liam did the part run with her. And um, obviously she's got a bazillion followers on her socials. I've got not many. And I had this um, thing flash up on my Insta saying, uh, message from training armour. I thought, oh, here we go. Here we go. They've seen me running with Sarah. So they're now going to offer me some like trainers or some like running gear or like, you know, sponsorship maybe. Because uh, they've seen that I've run with Sarah. So I opened up the message and it was for um, just for some like uh, little things you put in your trainers to stop like holes coming through. Which is a nice offer, like but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't exciting as I thought it was going to be. Aww. And they were probably thinking, for their lovely business, get some extra followers, get yeah. some people buying. That's it. I think they probably thought as well that I had more followers than, uh, than I actually do. <laughs> Sarah, they want to be contacting. They With probably the... did as well, but she probably didn't answer. <laughs> well, that's the thing. At least I can respond to my followers because there's not many of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I always try to. I always try to if you send me a message. Um, 
So what I'm doing here, Ben, is yeah. I love the green that are leaves, but actually I want the white to give them a real pop. So it's really nice putting that green behind and it really elevates them. So you've got that sort of shadow. If you want to do them the other way around, you can, but I don't want the leaves to be my main focal point. I want the white to be so and the, the flowers to stand out. So I'm doing it this way. So all I'm doing is putting my dotty tape pen onto the backs like so and then just mat and layer it on the top but just leaving that sh slight shadow uh, it doesn't have to be super neat or tidy or perfect um, as long as you've got some of that green coming around in the yeah. background that's going to really help and then our last one so let's pop those ones on so yes. many comments about spiders now <laughs> coming through <laughs> Sorry if you get scared of spiders. And Michelle says, I just looked up a picture of a wolf spider. Oh, hell no. I don't even you know can what have that the house. Is it really big? I'll get a picture for you. Wow. Right, so we've got our leaves. We've got um, our card. So where's my card? Here it is. Let's bring that in. So we've got our card. So now it's just a case of popping all these bits where you want them. I'm going to actually bring in my Kalau Purpose Glue. Um, I think this is a good one for layering them all down. But if you want it to dry quickly, um, I would say um, put them in, uh, put them on some foam pads um, if you want that dimension still. So I'm going to place this on the inside here. Like I was saying before, if you want that not to come over the top, uh, just make sure that you uh, have that in a different configuration um, down in the inside of your card a little bit more. And then all I'm going to do is just pop some glue onto here and then tuck that in underneath so that will go just there and then I don't need all of that so what I am going to do is take some of that off because I only want to use some of those leaves on the bottom just to tuck into there like so and that gives us a really nice effect in that corner and then we're going to do our two pieces here. So I haven't done our die cuts, but we're not going to have time to do no. them. So, um, what I will show you, though, is that I just use that little happy birthday, which is on the front. So use any stamp that you've got. But I'll just decorate mine with our beautiful uh, flowers. Yep. The main thing is, is you have that um, the card base. You know exactly how you're doing that card base. And then we're going to take that flower on the front like so and then on the other side let's pop our little flower there and then again just use so you don't have to use all of these i'm just tearing off some of these leaves so we can use these to decorate underneath so let's bring that over the top and then we'll do the bigger one there and then again just take that off and then place that underneath there Amazing. And they've got, oh I've put two on there oh, yeah. never mind that's fine and I'm just going to put some leaves on that one at the side what a fabulous project this has been there we go now let me turn that round like so so you can see there we've just decorated ours with the flowers if i bring this one in the only difference i've done on this one is i made that taller flower so you can see in the center there and then i just used that happy birthday which is on the front here and you which is from that die but um i think you'll agree that card shape is a really beautiful design i absolutely love that what a brilliant, brilliant um, craft along that is. Um, you can pick up lots of individual elements, as we said, from the Daisy collection. We don't have the full collection anymore because it was so busy when we initially launched it. But don't forget, if you buy uh, 50 pounds worth or more, $50 worth more of the products from the Daisy collection, uh, you will get an extra 10% off. So stock up on those papers, stock up on the vellum, the uh, foam as well, of course. And we do have still some of the dies uh, and that gorgeous embossing folder available for you as well. We will um, put that card forward later on to demo of the day because of course we've got our big cartload crafty clear out coming up uh, at six o'clock so um sort of to have a little break at a point during that cartload show because it is going to be manic we will do a vote a little bit later on so do
do make sure uh, that you come back for that. Let us get on over to a lady who has been an absolute delight on the, um, the craft line with us today, all the way over to Florida for Elaine. How did you get on Elaine in the end? I did. I did finish it. I need a few more flowers. Oh, that's incredible. That is so good. We'll just get Debbie in to have a look in as well. Or out? There we go. Uh, oh, out, out a bit into your right. There you go. Hey. What do you reckon, <laughs> Debbie? I just love it. It looks absolutely stunning. Are you pleased with it, Elaine? Yes, I am. Oh, Thank I'm you so, so much. You are very I welcome. Thank you for crafting along with me. You're welcome. Um, Elaine, just to say, you've been an absolute delight. And um, please, I've already seen lots of lovely comments coming through, but make sure that you do um, read the comments because people have loved um, having having you on the show. Um, if for oh, anyone uh, thinks about doing a craft along, uh, do you want to uh, recommend it to them? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It was a lot of fun, Ben. Oh, I'm so pleased. Are you going to come back and do another one? Do you think at some point? Oh yes, oh yes. I had so much fun. Oh, we're so pleased. It's been so lovely to find out all about you. And as I say, the most pleasing thing for me is I've got so many different things in front of me here, but I can always see um, our crafters in the craft logs. And you have smiled all the way through for the last two hours. And I just think that is brilliant. So I've never had to sort of like ask producer Johnny, like, oh, you know, is, is she panicking? Is she nervous? Is she having fun? I think you've had the best time, haven't you? I have, yes. Well, thank you so much. Uh, make sure as well um, that you send us pictures of your husband's hot rods, please. We would love to see those. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you so much, Elaine. Have a brilliant day over in Florida, and we'll see you very soon on another Craft Along. Wow, what an absolutely fantastic show. It's been a massive thank you to Elaine. Um, one of my, my favourite guests, I think. She was absolutely brilliant. Wasn't she great, Debbie? Uh, so lovely. You were right. When you said uh, she was smiling all the way through, every time I looked at my screen, I could just see Elaine's big grin. She mm. was absolutely uh, just a pleasure to have on the show. Oh, amazing stuff. Thank you, Lois. She says, what a gorgeous project. Beautiful card, Debbie, says uh, Valerie Puccini. Uh, awesome card, Debbie, says Maureen Hager. Thank you. Uh, sea God says, thank you for this wonderful, cheery and inspiring show. Absolutely gorgeous. Craft along, Lynn Harvey says, it's one I will definitely be doing sometime too. Uh, and Chloe says, I don't have this collection, but I'll make this using the Sunflower Collection. As long as you've got some papers, which you all have, just copy the, um, the template for the card and then use whatever papers you want. Loads of lovely comments coming through for Elaine as well. So, um, Elaine, I know you're still um, there in the background. Make sure you read those comments because lots and lots of people loved you being on the show. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, make sure you do check out your baskets if you've got anything in them and come back in a couple of hours' time because we have got that big cartload show for you. Six o'clock, one o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. It is the big crafty clear out uh, with that uh, clear out discount, of course. Don't forget, clear out 10. C L E A R O U T 1 0 will get you an extra 10% off your cart total. So do make sure you use it. Have a peruse and a browse of the website. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. We'll see you in a couple of hours, me and Debbie, for Cartload. Till we have. Bye for now.